Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where it's a very cold night but I finally went out to Taco Bell to get the one dollar stacker. Welcome to the after party. Why didn't we get invitations to the real party? Well, here's the special wrapper for it. And it's very hard to see, but it's a faded print, but it says right here, first bite here. First bite here. I guess you're supposed to take the first bite from that side of it. We have this uh, guitar pick shape thing here. The aroma is pretty much uh, like any other Taco Bell item. Virtually no hint of the uh, contents, just the hint of the tortilla. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. And let's remember they said to bite here first. Bite here first. Wasn't a whole lot of flavor in that bite. I'm gonna say the bite here first. Now that bite did have an explosion of melted nacho cheese sauce. I can't say the amount of filling is very generous. A little more on this side. I'm seeing a lot of layers of tortilla on this side. I count three levels in here and they have a the regular seasoned beef which I always like. They have nacho cheese sauce melted which I like and I think there's, it looks like the uh, three cheese blend. Special report. Special report. Humiliation for the Montgomery County Council. Humiliation for the Montgomery County Council. Discovery Communications is leaving Montgomery County making this the first Montgomery County Council to lose a Fortune 500 company. Hundreds of jobs will relocate to beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee, which happens to have no income tax, no estate tax, property taxes in Knoxville are half of what they are here. Most of what you pay there is just a 7% sales tax. Meanwhile, Montgomery County, under this council, has a record high taxes. The Montgomery County Council just had their briefcases handed to them by Knoxville, Tennessee, and they just got chomped by Chompy. Chomped by Chompy. Now I can say this was very cheesy with the nacho cheese sauce. There could have been more seasoned beef in there. I think the main draw of this item is the is since it's more of a snack size, it's just the fact you're getting it for a dollar. It's certainly uh, disappointing in that there's nothing new about it and that there have been many Taco Bell test items that have yet to come to the rest of the country that are more exciting than this. So we really need some more exciting items rather than the same thing folded in a different way. This was a dollar with everything else I got, it was four seventy-eight, and then the Montgomery County Council greedily stacking twenty-nine cents tax for themselves on this stacker. They had nothing to do with making. That's why you see all the going out of business signs around Montgomery County these days, and all the companies are leaving. Well, I'll say that. Uh, this is definitely worth a dollar for a snack. From a value standpoint, it would definitely be five stars. 
from an all-around standpoint, it's not quite as filling as a quesarito or something. Maybe a little more than the standard crunchy taco, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid three stars. It did what it promised, which was give you a value for a dollar with some very basic repetitive Taco Bell ingredients. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.